I've been getting messages like nonstop here the last several minutes, so I apologize if I'm distracted. <laughs> a new TV rights deal between AEW and Warner Brothers Discovery will be announced as part of the latter's upfront next Wednesday in New York City. This news comes from our Dave Meltzer. Meltzer said both the deal and the much-discussed AEW Collision Show will be announced at the Wednesday, May 17th event at the Theater at Madison Square Garden. Upfronts are events held by networks designed to drive advertiser interest in upcoming slates of programming. The amount of years and money on the New Deal are unknown, nor who will be in attendance from AEW. As was reported by Andrew Zarian previously, the New Deal gives WBD exclusivity on AEW programming, which is why both Dark and Dark Elevation recently ended up on YouTube. Or actually, they ended on YouTube. They were on YouTube, but now they're off YouTube. As Zarian now Meltzer noted, the deal does not include any Ring of Honor programming, which lives on Tony Khan's Honor Club subscription service. So essentially, WBD wants AEW exclusivity. And since Ring of Honor is Ring of Honor and not AEW, even though everybody that works there, I guess that's not true. There there are Ring of Honor exclusive talents that are signed to Ring of Honor deals, but that is not part of this deal here. In January of 2020, AEW and Warner Media announced a four-year extension of their previous deal that runs through the end of this year. The extension called for a $175 million total with an option year at a significantly increased price, according to Meltzer. Now, obviously, obviously, January 2020, four-year extension, January 21, 22, 23, 24. That would not end this year. That would end next year. So... Here's here's what I know for sure, okay? These are these are the things that are pretty much for sure, okay? Next week they are going to announce AEW Collision. That's I would go as far as to say guaranteed. That's going to be announced next week. That's going to be the Saturday show. It is believed to be 8 to 10. It is believed to be live. These are the things that we believe. But what I know is they are going to announce that next week. Now, as far as everything else, okay, I've heard a few different things, and we will know for sure what is true next Wednesday, but I was under the impression, and the math works out here, that their deal actually shouldn't be up for another year. Like, they had the four-year extension in 2020, and it was a three-year deal with an option year. I've heard some people say that this is the option year. I've heard other people say the option year is next year. Obviously, if they just sign a new deal, then none of this matters. Because if you recall, they had a deal for Dynamite, and they actually signed a new deal before that deal had ended. So whatever the option year, extension, four years, whatever, I mean, they may have just came to an agreement for a brand new deal, and they're going to announce that next week, and that would include Dynamite and... uh, you know, Collision, Rampage. It looks like Rampage is going to be taped on Wednesdays because obviously there's no more Dark and Elevation. So they would tape, I think the idea is Dynamite and Rampage is Wednesday and Collision and Ring of Honor is Saturday. And so essentially four hours of live programming. There have been a lot of rumors over the last 24 hours about how much this deal is going to be worth. Uh, the old uh, deal was $175 million. Obviously, yesterday there were all of these rumors that it could be a billion-dollar deal over five years, which would be... Uh, would be A uh, lot of money. Yeah, billion over five years? One? How many is a billion? Let's see if my calculator goes up million, that high. Boss. $10 million, $100 million, <laughs> billion. 200, 200 my my thing doesn't years. go that high. So what's $200 million? Yes. Okay, well, you know, that's certainly possible. Hey, look, this happens with sports franchises and other franchises all the time. You know, things don't go into free agency. They don't go into a full bidding period all of the time, especially if both sides are, you know, working on doing something anyway, which obviously WBD and AEW have. So we could just be hearing about an extension that now, you know, takes them into a, a new realm with the 
Dynamite and Rampage stuff already wrapped up into that. And now you add Collision and whatever's going to happen with WBD Max. Because I think that's the most interesting part of the upfronts to me is what they plan on doing there because you know they don't have the rights to the nba in completion they don't have the rights to the nhl in completion they don't but they do have the rights to AEW and air all of their stuff and to make money off of it by possibly streaming it and doing live streaming which again peacock other people have had success with this looks to be something that WBD has talked about in the past. So it's going to be interesting to see some of these other trade papers like Variety and The Hollywood Reporter and whoever else actually covers, you know, that end of things because that might give us some tells as we lead into the upfronts coming up next week. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey, uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man! Hey, no! Hey, I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.